holidays and welcome to our channel my name is Tracy I'm Chloe and for this happy holidays collaboration we are going to make stuffed mushrooms for you it's a very simple recipe comes together real quick we make it every holiday season and we thought you would enjoy it too so this is a very large collab we've been broken down to small groups you do have to be publicly subscribed to everybody in my group all of that information will be down below as well as how to uh, participate and the word that you're going to need to use to indicate that you are publicly subscribed to everyone in my group, that you understand all of the rules and that you want to participate in this uh, giveaway. All right, so we're going to start off with some mushrooms. I've already taken the stems out. now. I have chopped up the stems in the past and used it in the recipe, but we're just going to go nice and simple with the mushrooms. We have a whole container of feta cheese. Usually I try to find the one with um, herbs in it, like garlic and herbs, but they didn't have it. Um, that adds a little bit of extra flavor. We have a whole um, bag. This is a two cup, four cup bag of mozzarella, and we have two sleeves of Ritz crackers, just plain ones, and a whole stick of butter that I've already melted. So as you can see, this is a very not calorie or cholesterol friendly recipe, which is why we only make it once a year. All right, so we're gonna start with the crackers. We're gonna take these crackers out, we're gonna put them in this Ziploc bag. This is a fun thing to do with kids. They can help out. So has been helping me for many years now with this. Then you're going to get all the air out of the bag. That's. You're just going to get all the air out of the bag. And then you're going to take these and you're going to crush them. Crush them up. So we have our crushed Ritz crackers. Next, we're going to take our feta cheese. Hold on, I'm going to clean it up for you. And we're just gonna dump it in. <coughs> the smell of the uncooked feta is horrendous. All right, we're gonna seal that up. And then we're just gonna massage it in to the Ritz crackers there so we can get them all nice and gooey. So this size is, I don't know, it's the extra large size. I don't have my glasses on, but I think this is 12 ounces. Yes, 12 ounces. I know, but just so they can see. So you're really just wanting to kind of massage those in. So you're gonna, so you're gonna wanna put it down on the table flat, and then you're gonna wanna grab it like this. And then kind of go with both hands. So just imagine it's on a flat surface because you can't put the camera down and then occasionally you're going to flip, put the thumb to kind of get the stuff on the bottom to the top, kind of smush a little bit, take mm -hmm. it from the top. So the consistency should be of a mixture of semi-dry Play-Doh. Should be like something that you can kind of ball up and it will stick together. Like uncooked cake batter that you squished in your hand by accident or like when you're making cookies. More like cookie dough. Yeah, more like cookie dough. All right, then we're gonna add about half of this bag of mozzarella. So this is four cups. I don't really measure with this. I just kind of throw stuff in. But to give you an idea, this is a four cup bag, and I'm going to put about a half 
in here. I know how to empty a bag in here. And then again with the same process of massaging it in. In case you, if you don't have a flat surface, then that's okay. That's but usually it what I do. It's a lot with easier to use it on flat surface, and it gets it more thorough. I usually do it like that. I don't usually do it on. I only do the crushing on the flat surface. So next, I have a stick of butter here, already melted up. That's um, a little bit over a half a cup. Easy enough. And I'm gonna pour. Oh, that looks gross. The butter just like kind of looks like egg yolk. Red half of it in there. Yeah, I definitely do not eat this if you are on a diet. Then I have a pan lined with parchment paper. And I'm just going to start taking these mushrooms and popping them in. So, I opened this now to just show you how to um, stuff the mushrooms, I'm going to put this on a, put the angle down for just that. Okay, so here they are out of the oven and they're like a nice roasty brown and I let them cool off. There's how it looks. Um, cheesy deliciousness. Now again, I will say if you um, can find the herbed feta cheese or any kind of feta cheese that has like a little bit more seasoning in there, I would definitely go with that because it does kind of pack a much nicer flavor. These are a little bit less, they're for every taste bud, but again, if you do like a little bit more flavor, use the Mediterranean herbed feta cheese or just add some garlic and and whatnot you can use an herb butter or whatever it is all right well thank you so much for spending some time with us make sure you look at all the rules below um check everybody out there will be a playlist there'll be a playlist for each group and again you do have to be subscribed to everybody in our playlist in order to be a part of our giveaway so please make sure you hit that like subscribe and notification bell and use the word down below to indicate that you are subscribed to all of the channels and understand all of the rules. And hopefully, we'll see you soon.